Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to New Town Booth. Uh, so this year, our uh, main thing will be new energy and the new green life and innovation. So let's get started of our up-to-date uh, demonstration and all the demo items. Start with our top sensing application. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey. Uh, today we, I would like to uh, introduce our 3D TOF time of flight sensors. Uh, this is a uh, one of our demo kits uh, for. A, adjusting for uh, monitoring driver status. So at Nubatan you do SOC? You uh, do no, no, we, we just chip, chip, image sensor. Chip. Yeah. Image chip? Image chip, yes. And it's in this box here? Yes, yes. And it's connected to a board? Yeah, yes. So, right. we, yeah, we are a ma manufacturer of uh, semiconductors and we provide uh, image sensors. Nice. Yeah. And uh, time of flight is uh, important for many different markets, automotive or? Uh, yeah. Yes, absolutely so. And uh, this is uh, one, one of the uh, examples, good examples for uh, various applications. Right. Yeah. Maybe and you can it, sit down to experience yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happened? Uh, sorry, I have a bag. Uh, can you sit? Oh, yeah. or I will do yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this 3D tough camera uh, can detect his eyes, uh, eyes, eye gaze direction. Oh wow! And face direction while driving. And uh, not only uh, face direction, but also uh, uh, detect how wide uh, his eyes, each eye opens. Wow. And how wide uh, his mouth. That's very re open. fast, real yeah. time. Yes, yes, real time. Accurate. Yeah, yes. And it. Measures distance. Yes, yes. Uh, right. This camera has uh, image sense, t TOF sensors and uh, four light sources, IL light sources. Nice. Yeah. And also, uh, which can uh, sorry. Uh, alarm okay, will yeah. start when you yeah. talk on the phone. Yes. If he has for the uh, cell phone uh, like this, uh, the cell phone gauge gets higher. Yeah. It's and then idea. the car will stop and uh, park no, no, on the side uh, of yeah. the road? Yes, the top, this top camera uh, can be utilized for systems, uh, uh, something uh, to alert the drivers nice. if he is in a danger, uh, not, nice. not condition. It's nice. nice. This is and what do you have uh, right here? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is another uh, example for uh, adjusting for AMR. Autonomous mobile robot applications uh, like uh, uh, <laughs> yep. robot vacuum cleaner or uh, agricultural uses uh, such as autonomous uh, tractors to detect obstacles. All right. Uh, this uh, today is uh, this camera is adjusted. Uh, the, the range is maximum about uh, four meter. Uh, but uh, originally, uh, this sensor has as long as uh, six meter uh, range. Nice. Uh, and also, we have another solution. Uh, this one, and this has uh, is up to 15 meter uh, uh, detection uh, distance range. Nice. It's useful, it's useful for uh, a wide uh, field. Cool. All right. Uh, Thanks a lot. Awesome. So I think that's all for the amazing top sensing application. So next uh, next one, let's move. Do you have to some new chips you're launching at oh, the show? Absolutely. Yes. Uh, this one is haven't been launched yet. It's like a most like a spoiler for everyone. But visitor here is our M2L31. Yeah. It's our new uh, four-in-one microcontroller, and I would like to invite our product manager Jenny to have an introduction. Jenny, would you please? Hey. Hello. I'm Jenny. I'm the product marketing oh, from Nubaton. Nice to meet you. So this is an ARM Cortex M23. Yes, it's an ARM Cortex. Brand new design. Yes, it's a brand new. The we can say it's a new generation M23 product uh, from Nubaton, and going uh, to be launched in in the, the Q2 this year. Nubaton is always the first to make new ARM chips or not? 
Uh, I think in the uh, when when we talk about the Cortex M Zero, Novoton actually is the first one in Asia to to have the new silicons uh, launch in the world. So that is the history that like back to twenty uh, two thousand ten. Where are you based? Uh, we are based in Taiwan. Taiwan, and you you always have a very good partnership with Arm on yes. future designs. You help them come to the market. Yes. Like for example, this one. What is the market for this? Um, this market is for the can say is in industrial control, and of course some PC peripherals. Is it in there? Yes. It's inside. Yeah, so this this one. Yeah, it's already built in inside here. Uh, this this black box. <laughs> you showing it elsewhere here at the booth? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But is it there also? Uh, was that sorry, different? Sorry. Is it different? Um, oh, this one is different. This this yeah. one is for the battery management system. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we can continue yeah. the boost tour. Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. The yeah. MIC, this yeah. one. Yeah. 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 This one will be our our most uh, advanced one of our most advanced uh, technology is the automotive industrial battery management ICs and also the battery deterioration diagnosis technology here. So maybe Thomas can help us with the introduction, the BMIC and the deterioration diagnosis technology. Just a quick, yes, like yes. thirty seconds yeah. tour. Yeah, thirty seconds tour. Okay. Um, so we uh, show uh, three different types of products. One is uh, battery monitoring IC. So it's for industrial use where everything is integrated on the chip. So voltage measurement, all security features. Uh, current measurement, column counting, so everything in one chip. Then we have it for automotive use. So um, this is then uh, for st stackable chips. So with uh, for for high voltage uh, battery monitoring. So in, uh, here we offer chip set. So for current measurement. Uh, so there's ways to to, yes. to uh, constantly measure the health of a battery. How the range or the the cycles are impacting the the range and stuff like that. Is it to do with so, that? Yeah, uh, state of health. So there's a new technology. Uh, so we it's under development. It's uh, called electrochemical impedance spectro uh, spectroscopy, and uh, here you see it in um, a, a signal. So in, uh, from one hertz to uh, five kilohertz in our case. And then you get uh, here the response, so these, these graphs. And uh, so you can then easy de easily determine uh, the state of health of a battery. Uh, so here this black curve shows then, for example, a good battery. And if there is some deterioration of the electrodes, then it shifts in one direction. Or with Is this brand new or you're already in cars now? This is brand new and it's under development. All right, so for, yeah. so for next gen electric vehicles, the next EVs could have this to next have a EVs better management can, of the batteries. can have this, yes. So uh, nowadays you uh, uh, measure uh, the state of, of the charge uh, mainly and uh, state of the health certainly becomes also an important cool. topic right. for service, insurance, etc. Cool, thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. So as you can see, Neutron just provide more than just a new energy, green life, or four-in-one microcontrollers. Now we are going to the area of audio ICs. So we have a speakerphone turnkey solution. So maybe uh, Eric, Eric, would you please, uh, Eric? Hi, yeah. Eric. Hi. And there we have uh, with a Cortex M4. Uh, uh, um, Speaker yeah. phone turnkey solution. It will give a quick introduction of our audio ICs. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hi. So, hey, hello. Uh, this is our audio product, and uh, here is a unified communication speaker phone. It's in, it's the, in there. Yeah. It's in there. In there. Yeah. And it's mean the, when you join the meeting and uh, you you don't want to have uh, any noise in the, your environment, so we can filter your noise the noise environment of. The noise. So it's noise cancelling, no, noise, or noise cancelling. filtration, or something. Yeah. Uh, noise, uh, noise, uh, echo cancellation, right. acoustic or echo cancellation, and the uh, noise reduction in the, our the product line. So in here, you can see the we are connected via the USB wire and uh, going to our Cortex and 4 chip. 
and in this trip in, including the, the ugly sand. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Benson. a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Benson. Thank you. So our another wonderful uh, uh, audio solution is the NSP voice prompt solution. It's over here. So our director Eric will give us a very quick tour of our Hi. prompt solution. Hi. Hi. Nice what are you showing you. here? Yes, that's a uh, NSP. NSP is called uh, um, Nubotong sound processor. Is it in there? Yes, sound processor. Let me show you the, how it sound it processor work. Yes, connect battery and also speaker. Let me move the Oh, how does that work? Yeah, and that's a. Uh, you just uh, prepare the, any web file, sound file, and Numotong provide NSP chip. But that's uh, embedded uh, fresh. One more key setting point is uh, Numotong use the uh, cutting edge design. That's a uh, one bit, uh, one bit uh, symbol for the speech. So that can make uh, a, a, a sound quality better and also uh, very cost effective. What kind of product can apply this technology? That's uh, for a consumer product. Maybe maybe home appliance or anywhere. You would like to make in your product more value. Speech process nice. And it's affordable? Yeah. Affordable solution? Yes. And uh, one bit is enough? Yes. To have good sound? Yeah, very good sound. The sound is like uh, like a crystal sound and very clear. So major application like a voice assistance in home appliance, sometimes the, the menu already follow up with the unpacking. Menu is gone. But right now you can push a button for help. Teach you how to use the... Maybe you can ask your toothbrush to speak. And it will, or some, uh, I don't know. But it doesn't have a voice recognition, but similar function, similar function. Right. Yeah, that's a voice problem, the voice assistant, making life easier. Cool. Yes. Thanks cool. a lot. Thank you. Thank yes. you. See you Thank you, Eric. So I think we should end this booth tour with our major, major launch at the end of 2020, uh, 2022. So this is our MA35 G1, is uh, our Cortex A35 microprocessor. So I would like to invite David for the, we have three demo items here based on the MA35 T1 MPU microprocessor. It's a heterogeneous uh, multi-core MPU. So David, would you please uh, hey. share about? Hey, hey, hi everybody. Uh, this is our new board that we provide the dual core for the A35 and then I have one core for the M4. As you know, for the A35, it can produce the high, like the image information, and then you can handle all of the image, and then for the M4, you can do the real time processor to handle the sound like the UR function or ice crash function. And then not only for the machinery, for this product, we also can do the HNI function, as you can see. This product supports the full HD function. It can support this resolution, and then it also support the full rich uh, OS, including RTOS needs. For the GUI library, we provide the ENV, LBGL, and QT. So you can quickly do implement the GUI function like this one. So, it's a very entry-level Linux platform, right? Yeah. Uh, low, low power? Uh, low... No, uh, this is a more, more powerful platform. If you need entry, we also support the online series. So right. uh, this is for the entry series for customers to study. A35, oh. also the, the M7, For uh, M4. A35 is more powerful. So we can do a lot of things for the basic design platform. All right. Okay. Let, let's, let, uh, last demo, we just want to show the, what, what kind of our function can improve it. Uh, as you can see, for this one, we show the, there are six kind of demo for this chip. And then we can do the, the play the H264 image. Yeah. This one we demo the we can play play the actually two six four image. As you can see it's very high performance. And then we also can do a lot of things like the, we can do the machine learning or we have to include the 2D graphics engine inside. And then this chip also includes the trust log. So you can protect your data 
and they use all the solution. It's a very uh, trust and can get the, you can do any the security application. Nice. Okay. And as PSA certified. Uh, for this one, uh, we currently we do the PSA certified. So in the future, we will provide all of the solution for our customers. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank All right. You. Uh, last but not least, uh, with the help of the new developer ecosystem, Newtown has built like a help with the help of the system. So we have helped many uh, great partners. So one of our partners has joined us on Newtown booth. It's called Oxon. So we would like to go take a quick tour of yeah. Oxon over here. So I would like to introduce the president of Oxon, uh, Alex, to give us a quick tour of the demonstration. Hello hey. everyone, this is uh, uh, Alex from Oxon. Uh, one uh, we show here is that uh, we build up uh, this module. We call the auto band module. We use a uh, the uh, NUC uh, 980. So, okay. so this is a small module? This is a small module that can be embedded to this uh, embedded system. So uh, then uh, here, you can see the RJ45 uh, connector here. So what you can do is that uh, when the system is crashing, and uh, this, uh, uh, this module can try to recover that system remotely. So you know that uh, from the OT environment, so uh, the most, uh, the thing that uh, the system greater afraid is that uh, the system downtime. So when the system downtime happen, uh, it traditionally they have to send people to onsite and to do the onsite support. But now you, you don't need to send people, you can save your cost, which is about $500. So is uh, you can you can you can try to just uh, recover that system remotely from Oxen Portal. From what Oxen is the Cloud. chip on here? It's a number than uh, NUC nine eighty. It supports Ethernet. It supports Ethernet. It can also support Wi-Fi and uh, also uh, telecom network. For example, like four G or five G. All right. Yes. Are those? Yes. Also, your part your products. Yes. Uh, all 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 the. In Batisys, and you see here that's already be integrated with an Oxen Auto Band solution here. For example, like this is editing Auto Band here module here. So this is an external tag. So this Auto Band module here. That's all come with. Uh, and you Nubatan. make the module that they use. Uh, we don't make a module actually. Uh, we 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 deliver the firmware. So our our vendor they will they could take a Nubaton microprocessor to make their own module. So we provide this cloud service. We provide it from where to our partner. Nice. And here we see a little. Yes, this is a Nubaton inversion kit. They call Chile. So uh, our customer, they have the uh, interest to in, to build that module. They can take this inversion board. And a big board behind here. Uh, the big board here behind here is uh, uh, this is one from our vendor. They build the module here. There's also Nubaton. Uh, a microprocessor and then to mount it on the board on the board directory nice and and your firmware allows for this remote management. device management to yes. actually work yes 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 our firmware will connect to Oxen awesome cross so we are still the cloud service provider so uh, our cloud will come uh, will communicate with that uh, Novaton microprocessor through our firmware which cool. is what has our edge insights cool all right Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. My pleasure. Cool. Thank you. Okay, I think that's all for our amazing booth tour this year in 2023. So enjoy the show. In, although it's like a one hour left for this year, we would like to see you the next year in 2024 in April. So New York Town will keep uh, showing you the green life and green inhalation in the future. I'll see you next year. Goodbye. Yeah.